Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome to the class. We're going to wait just a few minutes for the rest of the people to come. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome to the class. Okay, my okay. friends, we're going to start. Today is Wednesday, and after today, two more classes and we finish this module. Okay, so uh, of course, as usual, we're going to check the platform. So this is the class we are recording today. And uh, here is the question. So if you want, and uh, you can just write the answer for that one. As usual, by now, we are going to check the attendance. So let's see how it goes. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. No, I hear you. Ana Selmi Chavez. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. Good. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. 
Good evening, present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Jan Silisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Ana Michelle Guevara. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Okay. So we are going to start today. Okay. Okay. Good teacher, good evening. Good evening. Okay, let me just check you here and this one. Okay. So we are going to start directly with the book. So we're going to check some grammar to begin with. Okay. So how to use suffixes. So this is what we're going to do for first of all. And it says a suffix is a letter or group of letters added at the end of a word which makes a new word. The new word is most often a different word category from the original word. Noun suffixes make a verb into a noun. Add ER, IER, OR to the ending of a verb to make a noun. In this case, the nouns are the names we use to designate people's occupation or label. So a suffix is those letters that you add at the end of a word to change the meaning, to change the kind of word. So for example, when we were talking about adjectives and adverbs, you remember? Quick, quickly. So L-Y is a suffix. Okay, if the letters are before is a prefix, but in this case, it's just a suffix. And we have some uh, examples of this one. So these are ER, IER, OR. So we have a verb, for example, manufacture, and we can transform that into a noun by adding the R or ER. So manufacturer is a verb, manufacturer is a noun, is the person that does this job. Supply, the verb, supplier, the noun. Distribute, the verb, distributor, the noun. Here you can notice that we are going to delete the E and add OR. Manage is the verb. Manager is the noun. Retail is the verb. Retailer is the noun. Wholesale, the verb. Wholesaler, the noun. Sell, the verb. Seller, the noun. And we were checking yesterday about the pronunciation. Do you remember that is uh, those two letters, the, the prefix, I mean, the suffix is going to, um, the pronunciation is going to be not that strong. Manufacturer, supplier, distributor, manager, retailer, wholesaler, seller. So that is the only thing here. Do you have any questions about the suffixes? It's kind of easier, right? So let's do the exercise number five. 
we're going to, well, not circle, but tell the correct word, okay? So the number one says the employees want the, aha, uh -huh, manage or manager? Manage. Manage. What does the class say? Is manage? No. It's manager. Mm, okay, so it's manage or manager? Manager. Is manager. 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 Yes. No. No. Very good. So in this case, yes, it's manager. How do you know if this is manager or manage? Because in a sentence, uh, we have to identify what is the verb. In the number one, uh, in all the sentences, what is the verb? Can you please tell me that? In the number one, the verb is manage and uh, no, no. for the sentence. For the sentence, what one. One. Right. Very good. One is the verb. So in this case, we're talking about the person, the manager. So the employees want the manager, so that person, to organize the inventory. Very good. Number two, it says they. Uh -huh. Distribute. Distribute, everybody. Distributor. 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 They distribute or distributor. We have two and one. Uh -huh. what? Uh -huh. Distributor is, is a person. Exactly. Now, distributor is a person okay. and distributor okay. is a pair. This, this is a distributor. Distributor, everybody agrees in distributor. Actually, it's not correct. It's distribute. Again, let's check if we're talking about the person or an action. In this case, it says they, this is the subject. Yeah. These are the people, they. Yeah. And this, the word that is next is going to be an action. It's a verb. So they distribute the products all around the country. So let's analyze for a moment because I want this to be clear. In the number one, the employees are the people. They are the subject. Want is the verb. And the rest is the, like the, what we are going to, provide as detail. So in this case, we're talking about the manager because the verb is want. In the number two, the verb is, well, the people, the subject is they, and then the next is the, the verb. So in this case, because of the position on what we're talking about is going to be verb. So the first one is manager, a noun, and the second one is distribute, the verb. Okay, so now let's check number three. Inventory counts provide reassurance to the? Manufacturers. I'm sorry? The manufacturers. Manufacturers. Yes. And the rest of the people? Yes, I read manufacturers. Manufacturers. What does the class say? Manufacturers is fine? Manufacturing. That is correct. So in this case, it's manufacturers. Because look again, inventory counts, that is the subject. Provide is the verb. And then we just need to identify what we're talking about. Is another action, is the person, so in this case are the people, the manufacturers. Okay, number four, it says the accuracy of the inventory can influence the stock required by a, oh, that is easy. By a retail store. Retail store, anybody else's? Retail store. Retail store. One more. 
Somebody else has a different opinion? Retail store. Retail store. Very good. Sad that he said. Yeah, it's going to be the accuracy of the inventory can influence the star required by a retail store. This is a very interesting one because retail is a verb, but in this case, it's not a verb, it's not an action. It's like uh, the description of the store. It's a retail store. It's describing the store. Very good. That is retail store. So the next one is going to be, uh, hold on a second. I'm gonna close this. That is it. Okay, so number five says the supply or supplier. I supplier. think it's a supplier. 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 Very good. The supplier needs us to keep track on how much product is left. That is the correct one because we're talking about the subject actually, the person who does the action and the action is need. So the supplier needs us to keep track on how much product is left. What is to keep track, do you remember? Can you repeat, please? Yeah, what is to keep track? Do you remember what is that? Maybe it's like a, a record. It's like a record, to keep a record so we can see and research about this. Very good. Let's check the uh, number six. Number the steps for a simple counting program comparances with another pair. Okay, first we're going to read, okay? So we understand. Uh, let's see, Adriana, could you please read all of it? All the sentences? Yeah. Uh, okay. No, sell uh, 200 items, part product finish good from your Ah, the order. No, 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 just read, oh, by now just read. Only read. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, finish your goods from your inventory for week one. And the next, please. I keep track of daily accur accuracy, variance, pa percentage, percentages, percentages, divide items into count of 50 a, a day from Wednesday through Friday. Select another uh, 200 parts product finished good from your inventory for week two. Localize the cause of errors and correct inventory record. Accurately count and record all, all items. Keep checking until accuracy excel 97% for minimum, 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 minimum of two weeks. Very good, perfect, thank you, Adrian. So this is a counting program. So this is like an auditory that we do when we want to check that the inventory is accurate. So there are, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have there already the number one. So what we are going to do is that we're going to put in order the steps for this counting program. The number one is already there. Select 200 items, parts, products, finish good from your inventory for week one. So that is what, what we're gonna do the first thing, right? To go to the warehouse and select 200 items, any items. So the question, my friends, is what is number two? Maybe select another Two thousand parts. Divide items, or maybe divide items into counts of fifty yeah. a day from Tuesday and through Friday. Mm -hmm, that might be. Yes, divide. divide. Divide items. Okay. Yeah, I guess that might be one. Divide items into counts of 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. 
what do you think about accurately count and record all items? Because the first step is to select the 200 items. I believe that the, the next step is going to be to count, like one, two, three, four, five, uh, 200. And then we can divide items into mm -hmm. counts of 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. So I guess that would be the best, the best option. So number two, I clearly count and record all items. And number three, divide items into counts of five, uh, 50 a day from Tuesday through Friday. What could be number four? Maybe select another 200 parts. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Then we can select another 200 parts for those finished goods from your inventory from week two. Okay. And what is going to be number five? Localized counts. Um, maybe before keep track of daily accuracy variance fee percentages very good keep track of daily accuracy variance percentages because now you count two different things right two different amounts of products and now you can compare you can say oh this is a 55 percent and this is a hundred percent so you can compare very good and then is the other one so keep track and then localize cause errors mm -hmm localized cause of errors and current inventory record. And then? Keep checking until accuracy exceeds 97%. <laughs> okay. Very good. Yeah, keep checking until accuracy exceeds 97% for a minimum of two weeks. So that will be the procedure. Very good. So now we made the inventory. So let's continue. It says spare a work, run the benefits of implementing a cycle count program, one the most important and five the least important. Then discuss your ranking and the benefits from the class. Okay, in this case, we're going to read one by one. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, Susanna, could you please read the first one? Okay with a cycle a, or a cycle. A, a cycle please a cycle count program or inventory accuracy count is a technique where inventory is counted on a cycle schedule rate than once a year the following are some of its advantage very good perfect so a cycle count program that's what we're talking about here a cycle count program is when your company, instead of counting all the items once or twice a year, you do it regularly, okay? Maybe one week, two weeks, once a month, you do it regularly because of the business, right? So uh, it's a technique where inventory is counted on a cyclic schedule rather than once a year. The following are some of its advantages, it says. Let's see. Uh, Sandra, could you please continue reading? Okay, uh, Jenny? Uh, reinforces. Reinforces the importance of accuracy in your organizational culture. Good, good, there. So reinforce, what is to reinforce? Emphasis, teacher. To emphasize, yeah, that is it. It's like to make something stronger, right? It's good, but it could be better. Reinforces. Reinforces the importance of accuracy in your organizational culture. We're not going to check the order yet. Um, Flor, could you please read the next one? General focus on continuous improvement at the, organi at the organizational level. Very good. Generates focus on continuous improvement at the organizational level. So that means that whenever you start doing this one, 
you are going to be focused on that one, right? In, in the improvement, something is not good. You need to, you need to change something. You need to change the procedures, tasks, or anything that might be causing some problem. Uh, Osmin, could you please read the next one? Okay, teacher. Uh, improve your supply chain operation through more accurate inventory. Sorry. Very good. So improve your supply chain operation through more accurate inventory data. That is something that is implicit, right? If you have very good um, technique and it's accurate, then the supply chain operation, everything in the process of production is going to be good. Uh, let's see, the next one is going to be for Guadalupe. Hello, Guadalupe, are you here? Okay, not. So Zulma, could you please help us with the next? Uh, okay. Uh, improves. Uh, no, the next actually. Uh, uh, helps identify and correct receiving, shelving, ordering, packaging, labeling, returns, and fulfillment errors. Very good. So it's going to help everybody identify errors. And as you can see here in everything, and correct them, of course. Receiving, that you know that is like whenever you receive. Shelving, what is shelving, do you know? Does anybody have an idea what is the meaning of shelving? Oh my God, it's like, uh, today I see the word. It's like, uh, in English, oh my God. I have the idea, but I can express it in English. Um, uh -huh. Shelving, shelves, the shelves. Uh -huh. the, the place to put, yeah. Very good. So the it's place, like- uh -huh, uh -huh. The place to put the, um, how can I say? Yeah, the, the place to put the, 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 the stock, the merchandise. <laughs> And the, at the warehouse, there are many shelves. <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah. good. That is actually shelves are the places where you put the inventory, the materials, whatever. So shelving is the action to put away in the shelves, right? Ordering, you know what is ordering, packaging, labeling, returns, and fulfillment. Good. Let's see. The last one is going to be for Jancy. Hello, Jansi. Hello, teacher. Uh, the rises productivity. Yeah, please. The efficiency, efficiency throw more accurate data, leading to reduce operational and inventory costs. Very good. So raises productivity yeah because if everything is more accurate and the process is flowing very nice you are going to have more productivity and efficiency you are going to do more in less time and less resources through more accurate data leading to reduce operational and inventory carry costs definitely so now the question my friends is which one is the most important benefit of a cycle count program. What do you believe? For me, oh, the, you, I'm sorry, it's me. You know, you do. So just, Thank you. Yeah. In my opinion, teacher, the improves your supply chain operation through more current inventory data. Okay, improve your supply. What do you believe this is the most important? Because 
the good control of the physical inventory or the existence of the inventory permit the determinate the needs, future needs uh, for the, uh, the future portions. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are so right. So if you have a very accurate inventory data, you will be able to do a better forecasting and uh, check about the cost. Everything is going to be there, right? Very good. Uh, anybody else's? Everybody agrees on this one that this is number one? Or do you have a different opinion? Okay, so I guess that everybody agrees. Number one is improves your supply chain operation. What is number two, anybody? Sorry, teacher, but for me, the number one is raises productivity and efficiency through more accurate da data leading to reduce operational and inventory carry cost. That's for me, the number one. Okay, that's the, the most important. Why? Because here they are talking about cost, inventory and money, and you have to, to re like, like it say, leading to reduce operational and inventory carry cost is a way to uh, save money. Okay, very good. Yeah. yeah, money is very important, right? And this yeah. is the main purpose of a company. So yeah, let's yeah. say that races might be the number one. So yeah. we can say they improves maybe number two or yeah. vice versa, okay? Remember that this is just, uh, there are no correct or incorrect, but of course your opinion are very important. So we have one and two already, improves and races. So, what do you think is the next number three? Let's say. What is number three? Anybody? maybe uh, reinforces the importance of accuracy okay. in your organizational culture. Yeah, because I, there are sometimes uh, people, for example, at the warehouse, they don't, they don't take uh, or they don't make important the accuracy of the inventory because they don't pay money. <laughs> but if they, if someday they have to pay something, they have to, they have to know the importance. And I think that is, is important that reinforce uh, the accuracy. It's like, like part of the organizational culture. Actually, you are right. I mean, that is something that, I mean, you say something that is very true, that people sometimes they don't care, right? They see the inventory, the products there in boxes on the, else but they don't understand how important is that one i mean it's, it's money that is lost right so it's it's not good okay let's say that that it will be number three anybody else is number four what might be number four Uh huh. Nobody. Nobody knows. Hello. We have one number, number one, two, and three. So number four, what is going to be? There are seven. Um, uh, the helps identify and uh, cover receiving, shelving, ordering, packaging, labeling, 
returns in full fulfillment errors. That is very important, right? So why do you believe this mm -hmm. is very important? Because uh, during the physical inventory, it's important to, to improve the, the location of the inventory. It's important to review the condition of the inventories. And how do you say aprovechar, teacher? Take advantage. Think? Take advantage. Uh, take, take advantage. Take advantage. And for ordering, uh, uh, improve the package, co uh, complete uh, the process of the level. level. Um, right. It is important that the following of the result, the inventory, because it's possible, it's possible identify uh, errors. Errors. Um, it's important to to following of the uh, how do you say the reason, the why, the Wait, what, why wife lack? Why lack or why uh, there is excel? Because it's possible that during the con the com the account the count during the count uh, determine excess of the inventory related to the record. Yeah, actually, that is true. And, and I mean, the interesting about this one is that you will be able to, to identify and correct errors in all the procedure, right? In receiving, shopping, yeah. ordering. So that is very important. And of course, it's going to help in the productivity and efficiency of yeah. the whole production. Nice. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is number four. What is going to be number five? Anybody? Number five, two more only, and we go through on this one. Number five, what's gonna be? Maybe <clears throat> improves your supply chain operations through more accurate inventory data. <clears throat> okay, we can say that one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there are, I mean, I believe everything is very important. Here, uh, yeah. All, in, in logistics. Everything, everything is, uh, it is, oh my God, it is, um, or everything, yeah, oh my God, how can I say that? Everything is um, in the, how do you say, in, in la mira. <laughs> on the target. Oh, yeah. Everything is, the target of everything is the accurate of the inventories. Right. For me. Yeah, actually that is it. I mean, inventory is part of logistics and you remember in logistics, in all the logistics process, um, money is important, the procedures are important, not too much, not too little, and to do things the correct way. Uh, we're not going to do this, and we're going to do this little reading. Uh, it says, um, of course, it's the same unit, and it says, I will be able to identify the main ideas and key details in a passage about an inventory management crisis. What is a crisis? Anybody can tell me what a crisis is? I think that is a discontrol moment. Mistakes. <laughs> Similar uh, mistakes. Mistakes, problems, Error. errors, things that are not correct, 
and they need to be solved immediately, right? Right now. So that is a crisis. It's not just a, a regular problem. It's something that you need to solve right away. So in the number one, it says, let's start. Would you willing, well, that's quite strange. Are, are you willingly or would you be willingly to do businesses with a company that cows you a bad experience in the past? We discussed that in, in, in other part, I remember. So will you continue with a company that where that you have a bad experience with? What do you think? Anybody? Question, teacher? Uh-huh. Question? Yeah, the question is, would you be willing to do business with a company that caused you a bad experience in the yeah. past? Okay. The riddle. In general, uh, go ahead. In the case, uh, the experience is, is no good, teacher. Is, um, how do you say, I don't willingly. I am not willing. I am not willing to uh, do business with the company because the business uh, require the good partners. And in, it indicates the bad experience. It's possible discard the, the company. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yeah, definitely. Yes, yes. I think she, the company. Uh, the bad experience is, is, is better, change business, other company. That is true. I mean, I believe that everybody is like that, one, right? Even if you buy something that is very small in the store, if the service was not good or the price was not good or the quality of the product was not good, even if it's a small thing, you think for yourself, I won't, I won't buy here anymore, right? I will go somewhere else. Sometimes it's difficult because sometimes, I mean, it doesn't depend on the people that is there with you helping you out but that is another story okay so in the number two it says read the following excerpt about inventory issues walmart has experienced identify main ideas and key details to answer the questions below so what we're going to do here is to practice reading everybody's going to read the whole thing okay the whole all the paragraph so i'm going to read first please check the pronunciation and then you are going to read okay this is going to be kind of easy i guess so check the pronunciation and of course if you have questions i will give you a few minutes for you to ask here we go out of stock problems walmart had them too with over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory Walmart's supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out-of-stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart's processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can't buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to a shortage of staff, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves and management worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to saving costs. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their 
out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Very easy. So now, do you have any questions on pronunciation? Meticulous. 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 That is it. I'm sorry. Accomplishment. Accomplishment. Uh, what is that? Let me see. With the third line. Uh, it's an impressive logistical accomplishment. Ah, okay. Accomplishment. 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 Good. Any other? Insiders. 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 Good. Any other? Never the never Nevertheless. 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 Any other question? Worsen it? Worsen it? Oh, that is at the end, right? Let me just check. Management wars. Uh, Worsnet, huh? Worsnet. 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 Good. Further. Any other? Further. 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 Any other? What is the, the last word, do you say? The last word, uh, worse net. That is around here, worse net. Worse net. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other? Gans, even for Gans. Gans? Uh, what is that? I don't remember. Line, final line. Uh, giants. Ah, giants. Giants? Giants. 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 Any other? Giants. No more questions. Okay, let's read. We're going to read the whole paragraph. We are going to start with Rose. Rose, could you please read? Okay. All the paragraphs. Yes, please. Oh my God. <laughs> Out of stock's problems, Walmart have them too. With over 1,000 stores, 1,000. 11,000. 11,000 stores in 27 countries, an average of 32 billion in inventory. In inventory Walmart's supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart, Walmart's out-of-stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problems to mismanage inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart's processes. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not one of the shelves, I can buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to insiders, there, was, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to shortage of staff, it got delayed for, for moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stop shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelters, and management worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to saving cost. In the case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the, the effect that their out of stock inventory level could have on the customer's experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Very good, perfect, that was very nice.
<laughs> now, Adrienne, she says that she wants to be the next. Okay. Out of a stock problem, Walmart had them too. With over 11,000 store in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory, Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. 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 Nevertheless, Walmart out of a stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem, Walmart's problem to mismanage inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart processes. Many shoppers will still not getting the experience they expect from the retail, retail store. If it's no on the shelf, I can buy it. A customer say in an interview, according to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but do the storage of, of staff, staff it go the toilet for moving uh, out to the show floor. Customers gradually stop, stop <laughs> shopping at Walmart because, because of bad service and empathy shelter. Empty. And manage, what, teacher? Empty shelves. Empty shelves. Empty shelves. And management worsening the management problem. <laughs> and management worsening the problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, I understand. <laughs> they, want to speak in <laughs> they want to speak in English as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're sending the problem by for further cutting back staff to saying cost. In the case, Walmart file filed because feel failed failed thank you fail because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that they are out of stock inventory level goal a goal have on the customer experience even for g, g giants 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 like walmart inventory management reminds reminds the core of their business. Very good, perfect, thank you. The next one is Susana. Okay. Out of stock problems, Walmart has them too. With over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and a barrage of 32 billion in inventory, Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart out of the stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision. This work, despite? Despite. Despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart's process, many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expect from the retail store. If it is not on the shelf, I can buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in, in storage, but due to storage of staff, is got the lion for moving out, out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of a bad service and empty, empty shelves. Empty. And empty shelves and management worsened the problem by further putting back stock to saving costs. In this case, 
Walmart filed because they didn't anticipate or enforce cost the effect that their out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of, the, of their business. Very good, perfect. Now, Sandra. Okay. 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 Logistical accomplishments. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making mm -hmm. waves in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's mm -hmm. problems to mis misnamed inventory. Mismanaged. Is managed. Mismanaged inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision. Extreme. Despite strength? Extreme. Extreme precision. Despite the medical detail that goes into optimized Walmart process, many shoppers were still not <clears throat> getting. The experience, the expect from the retail store. It is not on the shelf. I can buy it, a customer says in the interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to storage of the stuff, it got delayed for move, moving out to the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves and management worsened mm -hmm. the problem by by foreign for, foreign foreign yeah foreign coding but stopped to say in cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forest the effect that they out of stock inventory level will have in the customer experience. Aiding for James, James, Giant. like one, Giants. Giants. Giants like Walmart. Inventory management remains the core of the business. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Ada Patricia. Okay, out of stock problems, Walmart had them too. With over 11 house 10 store in 27 country and average of three, two billions of inventory, Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistic accomplishment. Never this list, Walmart Nevertheless. out. Nevertheless, Walmart out of stock problem has been making work in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart problems the mis the mismanaged inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision. The speed, the meticulous detail, details that goes into optimizing Walmart process. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If this is not on the shelf, I can buy it. I customer say in an interview. According to Inside, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but the, the shortage of staff. Uh, it got the layer for moving out to the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped 
shopping a workman because of bad service and empire shelves and management worsen the problem by fuel cutting back the staff to save in cost. In this case, Walmart failing because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that that their out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart inventory, giants, giants like Walmart inventory management remain the core of their business. Very good, perfect. We're going to do just a little pause. So we are going to check the attendance and then we can continue, okay? So here we go, here we go. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present, teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdamez. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present, teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Very good. So let's continue with the readings. Bye. Bye. Ooh, okay, let's see. Uh, let's see, Sandra. Osmin, oh, you're next, actually. It's okay, teacher. A moment. Of course. Okay. Out of stock problem. Warman have them too. With over 11,000 stored in 27 counter and an average of uh, 31 billion. 32. Hey, excuse me. 32 billion in inventory. Walmart supply chain is an impressive. Impressive. Logistical, mm -hmm. okay. Logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart out of such problem has been making waves in their recent years. Analysts have uh, attributed Walmart problem to uh, mis mismanaged inventory. Mis mismanaged. Mismanaged, okay. Walmart is logic are cal calculated with term Precision. The, the, despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing hormone is processed, many super uh, worse style not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. It's not on the shelf. I can't, but, but it's 
a co a customer said in an interview according to consider there were many cases where stock was available in stress but but due to the to stress of stuff is got the flights or delayed. moving delayed okay for moving out to the shop floor customer gradually customer gradually uh, stop uh, shopping and warmer because of a bad service and empty shops shelf and management was the, the problem by other cutting up cutting back stuff to say in cost it is this case in this case warmer file because they didn't anticipate anticipate and forecast the effects that they out of stock inventory level would have on the customer experience. Even for young, young ever yeah. for young, excuse me, giants. Ever for giants like Walmart inventory management remains the core and the business. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, Guadalupe, please. Okay. About the stock problem, Walmart had the, then two. With the, with the over uh, 11, Store in 27 country in a uh, average of uh, 32 billion in inventory. Walmart supply chains is a uh, improvised logistic accomplishment. Nevertheless, walls out of a stock problem has been making ways in the rest, recent years. Analysis has attributed Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Mismanaged. Mismanaged inventory. <clears throat> Walmart logistics I calculate with the extreme precision. This, this the Despite. meticulous mm -hmm. detail that goes into optimizing Walmart's process, many shoppers were still, still not getting this experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can't buy it. A customer say in an inter interview, According to Insider, there were many cases where stock was available in the, sto in the storage, but due to short shortening shortage. shortage of staff, it got delayed for moving out to shop floor. Right. Customer gra gradually Stop shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empathy shelves. And management were sent the problem by future cutting back stock oh, yeah. to save in cost. In, in this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that they out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for gigants like giants. Walmart, giants like Walmart, inventory management 
remain to core on their business. Very good, perfect. Now the next one is Michelle. Hello, Michelle, are you there? Michelle, the oyente tiene dicho. Yeah, but she was always like that, so I was wondering. Okay, if she's not here, that's, that's not a problem. Sell me. Thank you, teacher. Out of the stock problems, Walmart have them too, with over 11,000 stores in seven in 27 countries and an and average of $32 billion in inventory. Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent, recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problems to mismanagement inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with extreme precision, extreme precision. Despite the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart processes, many shoppers will still not getting the experiences that is expected from the retail store. If it's not off the shelf, I can buy it, a customer say in, in an interview. According to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to a shortage of staff, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customers gradually stopped shopping at the Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves, and management worsened the problem by further, further Further, Order. further, thank you. C curing back staff to saving costs. In this case, Walmart failed, failed because fail, failed because they didn't anticipate on um, forecast the effect that they are out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience, even for giants. Giants. Giants, giants, like Walmart. Inventory management remains the core of the, their business. Very good, perfect. Now, Ophelia. Hello, teacher. Bonjour. All old store program. Warner has the two. We hover a 11 <coughs> stops in to seven counting in 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 event event of thirty-two thirty-two the in inventory I war warman stupid she is in pressing logistics a Completely, I I never dare warning all of stores problem has been making whatever in the research research year analysis has attributed what one problem to see see man. Next, inventory warning a logistics area. Carefully, I wish extreme pressure the 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 spitting I des metukur metukur the tari I that guess where in interim or team warning process. <coughs> Money, uh, shop, shop, I was asking, no, 
I guess I did everything. I I did everything for. I did re really sure. Is is not on I the chest. I can know, but it's a a customer siding in an intervention at a phone. I took incident. I did wear money because I wear stores. I was by 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 labor in a store store. I was do to a store of stuff is go there are there are the I for morning go to the church floor customer I wearing stop pen shopping apps one and because of bad service and emping chair chair and mana mana horse and the problem I be food cutting I bus staff us seven in cost in this case one filing because I they I did not anticipate and for the for the case I did effect I does dairy of us stop in inventory eleven hoarding has on the customer experience. Even for here, like warning, inventory, manager, renowns, and the core of race pushing. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, Pamela, please. Um, uh, uh, if it's a non the show, I can buy it. A customer sell, say it um, in a no. actually, it's all the paragraph from the beginning where it says, ah, so, Yeah, um, uh, out of stock problems, Walmart had the have them too with over uh 1100,000 uh, stores in. 27 countries and an average of three, 30, 32 billions in inventory. Walmart supply chains in an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out, out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent year, in the recent years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanagement, 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 inventory, mismanagement. <laughs> Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous detail that goes into uh, optimizing. Walmart process, many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expect from the retail, the retail store. Is If it isn't not on the shelf, I can buy it. A customer said in an interview, according to insiders, there were many cases where stock was able, available. available in the in storage, but due to a storage of the stuff, I got delayed from delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelf and management worse worsened of problem by Future cutting bad stuff to save in cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for a giant like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Floor. Uh, 
Okay, teacher. Out of stock problems, Walmart had them too. With over 11,000 stores in 27 countries in an average, average. Of, average of 32 billion inventory. Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accompli accomplishment. Accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart of, of stock problem has been making webs in the recent years. Analysts had attributed Walmart problem to mismanagement mismanagement inventory mismanaged mis mismanaged inventory Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision despite the metic meticulous detail that goes in into optimizing Walmart process many shoppers were still not getting Gain the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can buy it. A customer said in an interview, according to insider, there available in storage, but that due to short shortage, shortage of stuff, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad ser service and empty shelves and management worsen the problems by foreign cutting back start to say in cost. In this case, Walmart filed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the, the fact that their out of stock inventory level good had on the customer experience. Ever for giants like Walmart inventory, management remains the core of their business. Very good, perfect. Now, Sulma. Okay. Um... Uh, out of stocks problems, Walmart have them too, with over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory. Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Never, nevertheless, Walmart out of stock problems have been making waves in the recent years. Analyst, analysts have distributed Walmart problems to mismanage inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated with extreme precision. Despite the meticulous details that goes into optimizing Walmart processes, many shoppers were still not getting the experience that expect from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, I can buy it, a customer said in an interview. According to Insider, there were many cases where a stock was available in storage, but due to a shortage of the stuff, it got delighted for moving out to the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty the shelves and management worsened the problem by further cutting back staff to saving costs. 
In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that their out of stock inventory level will have in the customer experience. Even for giants like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Jancy. Okay. Out of a stock problem, Walmart has been full with over 11,000 stores in, in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory. Walmart supply chain in the expressing the logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, nevertheless, Walmart app of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. Analysts have said to you Walmart's problem to Ms. Mano, Mismanaged. Mismanaged. Invent uh, mismanaged. Inventory. Walmart's logistics are cal calculated with extreme precision, despite the meticulous <coughs> detail that goes into optimize, optimize Walmart's process. Many shoppers were the style, not getting the exper experience they expecting from the retail store. It is not on the shelf. I can buy buy it. A customer says in in an interview. According to Insider, uh, there were many cases where stock works available in storage. But the die to a storage due to storage due to a storage of a staff is the golf delayed for moving out to the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping in Walmart because of bad, bad service and empty shelves and management warnings. Uh, the problem, but partly putting but of staff to say in cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect that that they have of a stock inventory level could have on the customer experience, even for giants like Walmart. Inventory management remains the course of their business. Very good, perfect. Now let's see, Nelson. So I guess Nelson is not available, right? Hey, neither Mayra, Michelle. Rafael. Okay. Other stocks problems. Walmart had them too. With over 11,000. Yes. Yep. Stores in seven, uh, 27 country and an average of 32 billion in inventory. Walmart supply chain is an impressive logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's of, of stock problem has been making wide waves in the recent years. Analy analyze how attribute Walmart's problem to mismanaged inventory. Walmart's logistics are calculated with strings precision. Despite the meticulous, despite, despite the, the meticulous detail that goes into optimizing 
Walmart processes. Many, many shoppers were still, still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's if it if it's not on the shelf, I can buy it. A customer said in an interview, according to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to shortage of staff, it got delayed for moving out up to the shop, the shop floor. Customer gradually stopped shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves. And management worsened the problem by further putting back staff to save in cost. In this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast, forecast the effect that their out of stock inventory level would have on the customer experience, even for the giants, giants. like Walmart inventory management remains the, the core of their business. Very good, perfect, very nice. I guess everybody has read. Let's check some vocabulary. Okay, it says out of stock problems, Walmart had them too, with over 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of 32 billion in inventory, Walmart supply chains and impressive logistical accomplishments. Do you know what is impressive? Impressive, what is that? Hello, is there Impressive. Amazing. Amazing. Something that you say, wow. Like when we checked about the video in Amazon, right? That a lot of things. So that is impressive. Logistical accomplishment. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the recent years. In this case, I believe that you understand waves, right? Waves is like, has a consequence, right? Analysts have attributed Walmart problems to mismanaged inventory. What is mismanaged? Lack management. Manage. Like management, you say? A mismanagement is, I um, do you say, witnesses? I do say, uh, debilidades, teacher. A weakness. Uh -huh. Weakness for the, the skill of manage. Very good. That's mm -hmm. it. So mismanage is when you manage incorrectly, right? When you do the wrong things, not correct. So that is mismanaged inventory. Walmart's uh, logistics are calculated with extreme precision despite. What is despite? Despite. Anybody knows what is that? The spies. What is the spies? It's a, a connector. It's a word that is like when you say even though, right? Something like that, even though. It's like, it's like regardless too, no? Regardless, yeah. You can say yeah. regardless. Uh -huh. The meticulous detail that goes into optimizing Walmart's processes, many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expected from the retail store. If it's not on the shelf, what is a shelf? Do you remember we say that today? Shelf. The places when the, 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 the merchandise is. Very good. So shelf is in yeah, singular. When we, go to, when we go to the markets, the supermarkets, the or the products are in shelves. Very good. That is a very good example. I never forget that word. <laughs> okay. Shelves. <laughs> yeah. So remember that in singular is shelf and in plural is shelves with V, shelves. Okay. 
uh, it says if it's not on the shelf, I can buy a customer setting an interview. According to insiders, what is an insider? <laughs> this is a good one. According to insiders. Okay, an insider is somebody that works there in the company. It's like an employee. Uh -huh. It's somebody that yeah. knows everything inside, yeah, inside. inside of the company. Very good. So according to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to storage, due to, what is due to? Due to? Because. Because, yeah, it's the cause of something. So due to shortage, uh, do you remember what is shortage? Shortage. Uh -huh, anybody? Why is shortage? Nobody, okay, shortage is like when you don't have enough of something, of a product. So you are looking for something and you don't have, it's lack, do you remember the lack of something? So that is shortage. So, but due to shortage of staff, so in this case, they don't, they didn't have enough staff, enough people, it got delayed for moving out to the shop floor. So for, first of all, what is delayed? Do you remember delayed? What is delay? We don't know what is it because that is something. Uh -huh. Opposite in time. Very good. It's the opposite of in time. So, like, I don't know, when you're waiting for somebody at two in the afternoon and that person comes at 2 30 and you say, You are delayed. What happened to you? <laughs> so, it says for moving out to the shop floor, customers gradually stop shopping at Walmart because of bad service and empty shelves. Empty, what is empty? We don't know. Don't have. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, empty, <laughs> alone. Uh, we need yeah. something and we don't have anything. Yes. Good, empty shelves. Ah, here is the plural, shelves. So shelves is the plural with V, remember that. And management worst net, what is worst net? Worse net. Hello. Hello from the other side. So it's don't improve. Exactly. It's the, the opposite of Positive. getting better, right? So worse net is something that is bad and is getting worse. Right, so like gasoline prices and things like that, it's getting worse, it's worse now. Good, the problem by further cutting back staff to save in cost. Okay, this is an interesting phrase actually. Um, the management worsen the problem by further cutting back staff in mind that thing. So they have problems with inventory on the floor. I mean, they had products in the warehouse, but not in the store itself and they cut back staff that means that they they uh, they fire people so now it was even worse so i don't know i believe that that person is not working in walmart anymore because that <laughs> i mean that is not good right okay so let's go word by word father what is father Okay, father is like when you go beyond, far and beyond 
right? Some like that is further. Cutting back, what is to cut back? Cut back. That is a phrasal verb, actually. Cut back. Cutting, cut back. Maybe when you, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Cutting back. Yeah, because nation cutting back stuff to say because um, uh -huh. I can't. I, <laughs> I, have... I know, you know. Sometimes it's interesting how to explain things, right, in English. So cut back is to reduce. When you reduce. Yes, I, 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 <laughs> I'm going to say this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, you stole my idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That is yes, it's the, the word cutting back. Cut. Yeah, cut back. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. cutting back. <laughs> nice. Staff to saving cost. And then it says in this case, Walmart failed because they didn't anticipate and forecast the effect of that their out of stock inventory level will have on the customer experience. Even for a giant, remember the pronunciation, giants, like Walmart, inventory management remains the core of their business. Remain. What is to remain? What is remain? Remain is continue. To continue, very good. Yeah, to continue, to, continue, to move yeah. on. Very good. That is it, remains the core of their business. So what is interesting about this paragraph is that it's telling you that even, I mean, even a huge retailer store like Walmart, sometimes they make mistakes, right? I mean, imagine this problem. Imagine that customers come to your store looking for products and they don't find the product. They are angry with you, but you have the products in the warehouse. You just don't have people to put them back into the store. Even worse, you say, okay, for me to improve this, I'm going to reduce my personal. Oh, that is not good at all. Anyways, the good thing is that we were not that people. So let's check the exercise. Uh, what is Walmart's average inventory? Aha, uh -huh. let's see if you remember. $52 billion. Very good. $32 billion, right? So it's not $32 million or $322 billion. It's $32 billion. Did you know, for example, that the word billion is different in English and in Spanish. The amount is different. It's very interesting that part. You can research on that one and you will notice that. It doesn't mean the same. It's not the same amount. It's different. Number two says Walmart's problem is attributed to? Mismanagement. Managed inventory. Very good. Mismanaged inventory. Number three, what caused the leads to move stock out of the shop floor? Storage stock. I'm sorry? Uh, storage in, in staff, no. Yeah. A shortage in staff, very good, a shortage in staff, perfect. Number four, how did the stock problems become worse? Customers stop at shopping. Customers stop shopping. Yeah, that is true. Uh, but it's not that the reason why it became worse. Walmart stopped stop like to save in cost. That is the, the mm -hmm. big mistake. Walmart cut staff to saving costs. Definitely, that person is not working in Walmart anymore at all. Number five, why did Walmart fail at inventory management? The supply chain was inefficient. That might be a reason. Yeah, the supply chain was inefficient. Um, probably, I guess, is better than letter A. They didn't forecast an issue with inventory. So remember that when we're talking about logistics, 
of course, you need to have the processes and the um, the software and everything, but also you need to have a plan B, right? In case something happened, we need to do this. Of course, nobody's perfect. And Did really, teacher, the three answers are right. Yeah, I guess the three of them match because presses were not optimized. That is true. Supply, yeah, all of that is, is like that. So, uh, well, it's a big lesson for you. And my friends, we finished the book. Yeah. No class tomorrow. No, that is not true. We are going to have class <laughs> tomorrow and Friday. <laughs> that is going to happen. But the good thing is that tomorrow we're going to do free practice. We have, uh, I have a little bit more of um, management of inventory, but it's not that much. Okay, so we're going to speak different ways tomorrow and on Friday. Remember that on Friday also we're going to do the survey. And remember that you need to finish the platform tomorrow. Tomorrow, please, tomorrow. Everything. If you have questions, ask me, okay? I will be checking there, okay? So we have a few more minutes and of course, we're going to do free practice. Uh -huh. What do you want to talk about? Do you have any topic that you want to discuss that is not inventory on logistics? Uh -huh. Nobody. No, only like a comment. I like this course because I learned so much about the the area that the in in the area that I know for many years and I I have much vocabulary. I hope don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to I need to practice and remember. Uh, by the way I write some words and I have to remember. But yeah. it's nice. For me, it's nice because I understand that the the topic, the, the I understand many things about logistic, and that's how do you say it in English? I feel like una rana en su charco. A frog in the pond. Yes, yes, I like it. I like. It. You know, yeah, it's, it was a very good topic. I really enjoy logistics. I don't work in that one because it's very demanding in time <clears throat> and it's very stressful, but I really love that. I really love that one. I believe that some of the students, they didn't like that much because of the topic. The topic is something different that they didn't know that much. But the but, good thing about this is to learn, right? Yes, but every company have a logistic. Every company, doesn't matter if, if they sell products to prepare events, to prepare the agenda, to prepare meetings, they are logistic. That is true. I, mm -hmm. I remember that also we were discussing that even at your own home. Yeah, at home. Yeah, yeah you logistic have... with the kids, with the, with the things to do, yeah. cooking, cleaning, watching TV. Are you going that, to see this area at this time? And then, yeah, <laughs> I think that logistics is very important. It's very important. It's very, and you know, it's very basic. I mean, some people believe that it's very complicated. It's complicated to do it. But to understand that, um, I believe it's not that complicated. But just it's like, to do it. It's like in a movie. It's very easy going to, this, going to the movie theater and enjoy the movie, but you don't know all the things that behind the screens have uh, happened. It's like the case in logistic, like me, like a client. Oh, that's nice. I have the product ready, but I don't know all the things that the company has to do to put the product in the, in the right place. That is true. Yeah. That is true. That's the way. Because I appreciate <laughs> when at the supermarket there is a product to say, oh my God, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 
yeah, you know, this is something that I really enjoyed. I, when I, I saw, I never, I, to be honest with you, I never taught this, uh, this level before. This is the first time, but I was very, very happy about that one. And um, I guess that, yes, we, we learned English and logistics. So that is a good thing. We learned double, right? But right. I think, it, I, sorry, teacher, I think that maybe my partner here doesn't know about logistics, but um, we have to learn. It's for general culture. In the, others, in the other levels, we learn about marketing. I don't know nothing about marketing, but I, I try to understand. I try to learn. I try to look more in the, in the internet because there are many, many, uh, how do you say, articles about yeah. the topics that we learn in all the courses. Well, that is so true. I mean, that's what we are here, right? To learn, not only in the English classes, but in life. Um, yeah. The good thing is to, to learn something, to, to grow. Good, perfect. Nice, any other, uh, other comment or any other topic that you want to discuss? Inventory, logistics. English in general is good, you know. Um, how, uh, well, I know that sometimes we, um, well, always, whenever we finish the, the level, the module, uh, there is always a free time. One, two, three, four weeks sometimes. So the question is, how are you going to practice English when you are not in class? Do you practice English when you're not in the English classes? Yes, uh, I I live uh, a few, but uh, um, listen listen uh, video and and listen uh, new new words new word and sentences. Very good. That sounds like a plan. So, yeah, we need to practice. That's, that's why I'm asking you. We need to to continue you know this is like anything so for example if you drive a car and you don't drive a car in five years you don't forget everything but you need to again remember some things right so if you continue practicing it's going to be better for you okay that is going to be nice so uh, anybody else's how do you practice i want to know how do you practice when you're not in english class what else we can do? Teacher, in my case, in my work, uh, I need to um, read uh, the documents in English. Mm. And... Obligada. By force. By force. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something, Adriana. What kind of documents are the ones that you read at, at your workplace? Uh, uh, what documents? I mean, are, are those legals, are contracts, are procedures? Um, the document is um, manual. A manual, procedures. Manual procedures, uh-huh. Very good. Or uh, in this moment, uh, the uh, indication, the, the indication that uh, for right, obtener to get to get a certification if for our fabric factory. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, uh, so you work in a factory. Mm -hmm. Very good. So that's why you work with procedures. That is very interesting. So you work a little bit with logistics. That's nice. And uh, may I know what is your position there? In the area or the department of safety and, and health. Okay. Health. Yeah, that is in a very the, good thing. Mm -hmm. Also, in the part in envir environmental. 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 Okay. environmental. Yes. How, 
how many hours do you have right now in the factory with no accidents? Mm, always, 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 always we have accidents. Really? It's dangerous yes. there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is a good thing. So mm -hmm. I have another question for you. You say that you read procedures and manuals and things like that. So what do you do when you find a word that you don't understand? That is a new word for you. What do you do? Um, I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, but you understood, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I utilizo. Use? I use the internet Google Traductor. Translator. Yes. Okay. Or, my, uh, huh? or, or uh, my boss and my colleague okay and, and they they can english they can speak english yes mm -hmm. okay so two things the first thing is that if they can speak english you have a very good opportunity there if i were you i would speak in english all day long with them hello how are you Ola? and you are going to learn everybody's going to practice and the second thing is that whenever you find a word, a new word, uh, don't go to the translator, go to a dictionary, okay? Online, I mean, you don't have to buy a dictionary, but you can go online and you can set the word and you are going to see the usage of the word and you are going to continue practicing English. So I believe that those two tips will be good for you and your situation so you can continue practicing English just uh, after the classes and after you finish the whole module. I mean, mm -hmm. there will be a, a day whenever everybody's going to finish the whole English classes and then you need to continue, right? Because if you don't continue, you are not going to be better in this. Yes, teacher, thank you. Oh, it's a pleasure. Good. Anybody else's? What do you do to practice English, people? People are people. I like music, you know, a lot. Music for me is very important. Here, you know, when I teach in the classroom with people, every, every time that I can, at least once in the course, I bring my guitar and we sing a song. Here is a little bit more difficult, right? Because I mean, you are at home. And Why? Maybe... Why, teacher? <laughs> Imagine that you're singing there alone, <laughs> and everybody's looking at you it or the neighbor. Doesn't matter, teacher. It doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I can think about it. I can think about it. But it's, it's not very good. The finish is course. The course is finished. <laughs> okay. So, what else do you do to practice English? Anybody wants to share? Sandra is sleeping. In my case, teacher, uh, I talk uh, with uh, a friends or chat. That is good also. I mean, uh, you can do many things, you know, to practice English, a lot of things. But one of the most important things for you to practice English is to do things that you like. When you enjoy something and you put some English into that one, it's going to be easier for you to, to learn, to learn a little bit more and practice. So that is something that we need to do. Remember that the learning never stops, I mean, there are many words that we don't know, even in Spanish, right? So we don't know everything in English. And uh, sometimes I do that one. Sometimes I, even when I know many things, I don't know a lot, but many things. I read different things, for example, about trees or flowers or animals. 
vocabulary there is so extensive that my goodness, you are amazed about new words and the pronunciation and many other things. So that is a very good thing. Good, Rafael. Anybody else wants to share how do you practice English on your own? I don't I don't used to read teacher, but I I used to listen to music and I used to watch uh, movies in English with the subtitle in English, no in Spanish, in English, because in that way you listen and you you read. Maybe if you don't understand some word, it's like Adriana, you you go to the dictionary and you you know the, the meaning. For example, there was a song that I listened for many years, is the Rocky Ford theme uh, in a burning heart. Oh, there's yeah. a there's a word in the last year I understand and what's what's that word? The word is unquenchable, an unquenchable heart. And I say unquenchable. And when you see the movie, you listen the, the song and you see the, the scenes and you say, oh, that's the way. He has an unquenchable heart because his desire and his seriously to win the, the fight. And you understand more, that's the way. Uh, we're going to learn more. Very good. So that is another option. I mean, as I told you, music for me is very important. I actually learn English by music, just by listening to music. And movies nowadays, I mean, that are the streaming like Netflix or HBO. Well, I prefer HBO actually. And uh, you will be able to, to know many things, many things. And another thing that you can do, for example, is to watch a movie. And if you really liked it, in one month or two months, you can watch it in English, right? Not Spanish. So that is going to open your mind and you are going to get familiar to the words and pronunciation as well. So that is a very good thing. There are, there are movies that I, I watch in Spanish, in English with the title, but nowadays I watch the movie again only in English. Yeah, that's and, the way. Uh -huh, yeah, it's, it's, I think that it's very easy. Yeah, I mean, just to practice. I, I mean, yeah. And the good thing is that it's not about grammar and things like that one, right? help us. Very good. Perfect. Okay, my friends, we are going to finish by now. Tomorrow, we are going to meet us again. Um, before we finish, is there any question that you might have? No questions. Okay. So we're going to check the attendance. Before we go, just remember that um, it's free today for you to stay on the 101. Who wants to stay on the 101? To practice or to ask something or, I don't know. Uh -huh, anybody? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Ah, somebody. Anybody? To the one one after the class. Anybody? No one really. No one wants to practice. Nobody wants to go to the bed late. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I know. Okay, very good, Pamela. Thank you. So let's move on and check the attendance. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdamez. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. 
present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Good teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solorzano. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Present. Good night. Good night. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present. Good night. Good night. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hello, Pamela. How are you? Hello. Um, nice. I mean, and you? Surviving here. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's uh, to me it's the same. Really? But are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, only uh, uh, the job maybe uh, sometimes is more difficult than other days, but it's it's normal. Yeah, the same happens to me, you know. Some some days are amazing. And some days are like, oh my goodness. Like a cow, yeah. Yeah. But that's the way it is, right? Sometimes we cannot do anything about uh, it. Um, may, well, I don't know if the, the platform, uh, well, we have some problems with the same... Uh, the same... Uh, Exercise that I said uh, before, but maybe they're they're not repaired, correct? No, they haven't fixed it yet. Mm. I reported, but sometimes that takes a while yeah. because uh, there is another company that that is in charge of these kinds of things. So, uh, I, yeah. yeah. So they, yeah, I reported. More complicated to to fix them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, in the future for other classes, it's going to be good. I like your nails. They are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I like it too. Well, I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I made my nails. Um, it's not pain, right? Mm, it, that is a... Uh, Polish, I guess. That's the word. Polish. I polished my nails. Uh huh. Alone. Uh, I I do it. I don't know. I don't go a uh, a salon to do. So you do it yourself. Yes. Oh my goodness, that is very nice. Thank you. And that there are my nails, my real nails. Yeah, so <laughs> it's to yeah um. I wish have, maybe then my nails is too resa, uh, strong, thick, thick, thick. Yeah. Okay. But that is good because you can yes. get them large and you don't. Yep. Because I know that for women is a very big problem when they cut right when they rip off. Ah uh, yeah, but to me it's when um for one reason I need to cut them. And to me, it's difficult to do things without my nails because I all uh, it's normal to me to 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 have it to to have to have them to have them. Okay. Because uh, the 
some parts in my finger didn't touch the sub, uh, surface. So when I cut them, that part can be more sensitive. That's so weird. <laughs> the first day, the well, my the first and second day when I cut them, sometimes it's difficult uh, to to text in my phone. Imagine. That's so weird. <laughs> very that is weird. interesting. I didn't know that 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 <laughs> might be happening, but that is interesting. Mine. Yes. I think. <laughs> very good. You are such a supermodel. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pamela, do you have any questions or anything else? Uh, really? Um, well, we need to finish all the platform for tomorrow, right? Yes, please. If you have questions, just text me and I will be there in the chat. Okay, and the on Friday only we, well, we have the class, right? And then we have the the survey. Ah, uh, yes, the survey. Yeah, uh, I don't know exactly what time is going to be, but I guess it's going to be a kind of early since you have the experience. I believe it's going to be kind of fast, mm -hmm. and I'm going to bring some activities just to to continue practicing the English. It's not going to be with the book anymore. Tomorrow we're going to check just a few things about inventory, and then we're going to do some other activities. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't have any question. Very good, Thank Pamela. You. It's a pleasure to speak with you all the time. So <laughs> have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Yes. Uh, good, evening. good night. Good night.